Hey everyone, it's Tesla Tom here. Thank you so much for joining us today. We are reviewing the Bromark spare tire for the Tesla Model 3 and Model Y. And as you can see, it fits very well in the Tesla Model Y boot. And if you've got a Model Y, you'll have a very deep subfloor uh, area. And in which case you can also fit the spare tire in this uh, configuration as well. And uh, just for your information, this uh, spare tire comes with a nice carry case. It is 20 kilograms in weight, but I can easily lift it up with two hands and place it on the floor. Okay, so we're going to run through what's included in the kit. And by the way, uh, this Bromark spare tire kit is available for both Tesla Model 3 and Model Y across all variants, rear-wheel drive, long range and performance. It fits uh, all the different configurations. I'll leave a link to their website in the video description below and make sure you use my coupon code TESLATOM for 10% off across their entire site. Okay, so uh, in addition to the tire, which we'll have a look at in a second, that comes included in the nice bag, uh, you do get a few other things as well to help you change your tire. So first up, this is the uh, triangle hazard uh, to help uh, warn other motorists that uh, you are a hazard currently. It uh, comes packed in this little uh, container. Uh, this is the, uh, the jack, the lift, and this is the ratchet that you help uh, pump, well, lift up the jack, which we'll go through as well. There's a ratchet on there too to make it easier. Uh, and what's really critical is that you use this uh, included hockey puck that's modified uh, from all the other hockey pucks out there for Tesla Model 3 and Y. I'll tell you what, that's important in a second. Uh, you need to make sure you jack at the correct points to uh, ensure there's no damage to your vehicle as you change your tire. And finally, you also get a uh, wrench as well. So uh, the lug nuts for Tesla Model Y and 3 are 21 millimeters. So that's included a 21 millimeter socket for the lug nuts. And this is telescopic as well, so that can extend out to give you more uh, leverage and more torque, but also uh, telescopes down to help you store it away easier. Okay, so the Bromark spare tire comes in a nice bag. Uh, let's unzip it. All right, so there we go. That's what it looks like here. Um, and it says here max 80 kilometers an hour, so that's really important. Obviously the tread pattern is different to all your other tires on your car, so you don't want to drive too far or too quickly with an unbalanced car. And uh, yeah, obviously for temporary use only, and it says to inflate the tire to 60 PSI or 420 kPa, uh, but uh, I've been told that uh, they all come pre-inflated to 60 PSI already. Um, and uh, as I said before, it does fit even the performance variants for Model 3 and Model Y. Uh, uh, Bromark have got a video on the website, which I'll leave a link as well in the video description to show how it clears the brake calipers for the performance variants. Um, and also, uh, it's quite a, a high profile tire. So if I just spin it around there, so it's a T145-85. So it's quite, quite a uh, high profile compared to the width of the tire, 18 inch. Let me lift it out. Okay, so that's the tire there, right? And there's the tread pattern there. As you can see, it's quite a thin space saver tire. All right, so now I'm gonna show you the jacking points of the vehicle to prevent damage when you do change your tire as you jack up your car. So uh, there are four points along the car. Make sure I can show you guys. So you might be able to see there is a hole there, right? And uh, that's important. That's where the hockey puck goes. And there's four of these points along the front and back uh, on each side of the car. So four, make sure you, whatever jack you use or whatever lift you use, make sure you uh, position that along the metal part of the car and not the battery. So that's the front. Okay, now showing the rear right of the car and there it is there, you should be able to see it. There it is, there's the metal part of the car. So make sure you lift at the correct uh, position. There we go. Okay, let me show you this hockey puck that's been modified. Others on the market are quite thick, which is a problem because if your car has a flat tire, the whole car will obviously sink down to the ground and you may not be able to get the hockey puck in there, but because this has been modified, it's a bit thinner and the jack will slide in in most situations. So as I said, make sure you put this in the hole there. Uh, if you're gonna jack, so we're in the front right and this literally just slots in there like that. You can screw it a little bit. That way it sits in there. I do apologize for the angle of the camera. It is hard to show you a good shot. Okay, so just a quick tip about safety, and I'll just put my safety triangle here to show that this is a safety warning. Um, obviously, if you're gonna change your tire, make sure you do it in a safe position. 
Uh, don't do it on the side of the highway if you can help it. Pull the car to one side um, just for your own safety. And obviously make sure you uh, change your tire on flat ground if possible. Okay, so now time to jack the car up. So obviously you'll make sure your car is in park, safe position on flat ground. This is the jack that comes with the vehicle. This, make sure this rubberized piece is positioned underneath the hockey puck. Uh, and that's basically where you need it to be. And at this point you can just finger, uh, finger raise it to start with like that. I'm just using my finger to turn to make sure you are in the correct position like that, okay? There we go. And this uh, this jack is rated for 2,000 kilograms. Obviously, you're only lifting up one one side or one quarter of the car, so you should be okay. Okay, so I'm in position now. I can't finger tighten anymore. And now with this ratchet wrench, uh, this fits in there. And as I said, it's ratchet, so you've got two switches like that. Uh, one forward, one reverse. Obviously, we want it forward for now. And you can work out pretty quickly whether it's, uh, you know, switched to the right position. Okay, so once you've got that ready to go, the next thing you need to do is actually to release the lug nuts. So not all the way, but just loosen them. Uh, we're doing the front wheel uh, for this test. And obviously if you lift up the car and then try to uh, undo the lug nuts, it'll just spin. So uh, while it's still on the ground, it's best time to do it. So let's uh, get our 21 millimeter socket with the telescoping wrench, extend it out, and let's just loosen each one. Lefty Lucy. Okay, so that's loosen. Just a quarter turn really. I didn't put too much force through that one. Okay, that's good. Okay, three. This point, they should be loose enough that you can just uh, finger or hand loosen them like that. Just make sure they're still. That's good. Check that one. Check that one. Okay, so they're loose enough. I'm satisfied. Put the wrench aside, and now back to jacking the car up. So obviously we want to jack the car up high enough so that the wheel is off the ground. Okay, here we go. Make sure it's still positioned under the hockey puck. And you should see the wheel slowly lift up off the ground as the jack does its thing. That's the noise of the tire lifting off the ground. This is losing contact. Okay, so almost there. It's probably only a millimeter or two now, so probably try and get maybe three or four millimeters. That should give us enough clearance. Okay, how are we looking there? I think that's maybe just a little bit more just for safety. I'm pretty happy there. That's about maybe four millimeters off the ground now. Okay, so, and now time to take it off the axle. So I'm just gonna hand loosen it now that I've uh, loosened previously. Okay, so that's one, two, three. Four. Okay, and five. And now we just take it safely off without damaging the wheel. Okay, so now here we go. So that's the wheel completely off the axle. And I'm just gonna put this side by side next to the spare. And you can see the difference in the width 
of the tyre, right? So it is a space saver after all, but it's a huge difference. It's a magnitude of at least two there between space saver and the original Model Y tyre. All right, so now we are going to fit the Bromark space saver tyre. Again, max 80 kilometers an hour. Should be fast enough to get you to your local tyre shop, hopefully. Okay, so let's fit it on. Again, gently, gently. And obviously there's five holes, five um, places where they need to go. Okay, so here we go, we're in. Okay, so now we'll just repeat the process of putting these uh, uh, nuts back in. And I will do that from the uh, bottom and the top first to make sure it's stable. So like that, pop it in. That one, in that position. Okay. And then a top one here. Good. Okay, and then next one. Okay. See how this fits, the socket fits perfectly into the Bromark wheel. So I've got to tell you, I can't remember the last time I changed the tire. It would have been almost 10 years ago now, probably more. So even I, who don't, I don't do this regularly, but it's fairly straightforward. Okay, so let's just check how stable that is to start with. Okay, that's, even with my hand tightening, it's already quite stable. So I'm gonna release the jack uh, as it goes down and then we'll uh, tighten it up and then go for a test drive. So back to this ratchet here, ratchet wrench, uh, flick it across so that it's uh, in the reverse position. And then we just uh, basically lower it down. You can see the wheel slowly touching the roof of, sorry, touching the floor of my garage there. And makes me happier knowing the car is coming down as well. Anxiety levels decreasing. And it's good knowing the hockey puck is there, uh, knowing that uh, the car is protected along the metal points as the jack does its thing. I think we're pretty close there. Okay, so the jack is moving, that's a good sign. It means I can finger loosen it and just slide it out and perfect. And then obviously the, it's really important when you change a tire, uh, make sure you take the hockey puck out. So hockey puck comes out before you drive away. All right, so that's it. Um, that's the tire change aspect and there it is there. Um, oh yes, thank you, Joy, just reminded me I should tighten, tighten the lug nuts. Yeah, always good to have a friend. Um, yeah, so let's talk these off and make sure, make sure we'll just finger tighten a bit more. Yeah, that's pretty good there. I can't do any more with my hands. Um, and always start from the bottom up, so because the bottom one is doing most of the work, or a lot of the work. Um, and I checked the, with the Bromart guys, and they said, asked them how much torque do I need to give, and basically they said half your body weight to tighten these screws, because uh, I don't have a torque limiter wrench, so I can't you know, be very sure how much force I'm putting through it, but they said just enough, just for at least a quarter turn. Okay, so I'll do bit by bit. That's about right. I couldn't probably do much more than that anyway. Okay, so. All right, that's three. And this is four now. So I'm like 70 odd kilos. So half my body weight's about 35 kilos. Okay. All right, there we go. That's number five. Okay. All right, so that is it. That's uh, basically the spare tire on. Um, what's left to do now is uh, go for a drive and just test it out.
And everyone, so that's the Bromark spare tire for Tesla Model 3, Model Y, uh, compatible with all variants, rear-wheel drive, long range and uh, performance. Uh, easy to change, uh, fits in the boot of your Model Y and Model 3. Uh, and there it is, available on the Bromark website. I'll leave it in the video description below. And don't forget to use my coupon code TeslaTom for 10% off all products store-wide. Thanks so much for watching. Until next time, happy charging.